Hello everyone, uh, we are the students on the engineering project. I'm Harry Jones from County Upper School in Bury St Edmunds. I'm Yuki Mimori uh, from Ritmeka Moriyama High School. I'm Nair Kimura from Kyoto University of Education Attached to Junior High School. And I'm at the school to be I'm from Ryukyu School in England. I'm Alex Skelton from Kinshin Ryukyu School. I'm Takaki Akiba from uh, Fukuoka Railway High School in Miami. I'm Takahiro Kageyama from Fukushima High School. Well, for our project, we went to the Department of Engineering to construct an engine of our own. It's called a Stirling engine, as you've probably heard. Why do we need Stirling engine? I'll explain you about this. Usual engine is called a petrol engine. This is run by oil. This is used in many situations because it has advantage as cost, size, and others. Stirling engine run by all combustibles that can generate heat. This is used for saving energy, for example, using biomass or cogeneration system. They are expected to save energy, so some scientists or engineers think that uh, starting engine may solve one of the environmental problems. Um, for the most part, we were in the workshop in the, in the engineering department, which was looked after by a man called Alistair Ross, uh, after having Dr. Hugh Hunt explain all the workings of the, behind the engine to us. The people in the workshop were very skilled and helpful. We used many of the tools and machines uh, with, under their assistance, including pillar drills, a lathe, and a high-powered water jet, which used to cut the uh, name plates out of metal, which we put on our Stirling engines, you can see on the table. Um, there were a very technical atmosphere during our tours, led by Maria, the outreach officer, and Ross uh, Henrywood, the graduate from Cambridge. What we saw on our tours were the racing car in Cambridge. We saw the last F1 car to use turbochargers. And there was also rooms full of computers. On our last day, Hugh explained some more of the science behind the engine, explaining phase lag and the PV diagrams, which you'll see later. Despite all of the noisy machines, the environment of the workshop was very friendly. Uh, the technicians were very enthusiastic about their work. It was really impressive watching some of the students plugging all of the electronic equipment everywhere, knowing exactly what they were doing. Overall, spending time in the workshop has been a worthwhile and fulfilling experience. Making the components was very fun, and I think we have all learned uh, much from being there, with the added bonus of coming home with, hopefully, some working engines. Okay. Next, I'll show you uh, how styling engines work. Look at this diagram. There is air in this cavity. Uh, if the air heat up, uh, the air expands. And the pressure exerted on the piston rises, and the piston goes up. Conversely, the, uh, if the air cools down, uh, the air contracts, and the pressure exerted on the piston lowers, and the piston goes down. If we, uh, I can supply cold and hot air one after the other, uh, the piston goes up and down, up, down, up, down, and so on. In order to do so, we use this pressure. The displacer and the piston are connected through a crankshaft, where the piston uses the pressure to make power, and the displacer receives, receives some power from the piston to move the air. Uh, in this situation, the air is heat, and the piston goes up. Uh, the displacer goes down uh, in this situation the piston goes down and the displacer goes up oh. uh, 
Uh, this is how the, uh, this engine works. Uh, in this diagram, the uh, piston moves opposite direction, but this isn't entirely correct. In a real stirring engine, the piston and the displacer moves with a uh, uh, phase lag. Today, we cannot uh, use fire in this hall, so we show movie. Um, we will show you the difference between stirring engine and the petrol engines. How do you efficient? How efficiency? The stirring engine is very good, but petrol engines but quantity of output, the stirring engine is low, petrol engine high, and the uh, amount of cost, stirring engine is expensive, petrol engine cheap. So now, stirring engines are worse than petrol engines. Petrol engines are petrol engines are noisy and dangerous. But stirring engines are quiet and safe. So stirring engines are be better than petrol engines. And now for some graphs. Um, the two wheels here um, rotate through 360 degrees but out of phase, which produces the graph uh, y equals sine and y equals x, sine x minus p, where p is the phase lag. The optimum phase lag is about 90 degrees. We also managed to get a Stirling engine hooked up to some equipment and onto a computer to produce this graph of pressure against volume, where the area within the loop is equal to the power output. We have graphs for with load and, load of, and f under free running. Um, the equation efficiency equals power out over power in shows that in order to improve efficiency, power out must be increased. This would mean that the area of the loop on the gas would increase. The power out can be increased by increasing the kinetic energy um, or the speed of the flywheel. So in order to increase the power output, you have to uh, have a low amount of friction and uh, there should be no gas leaks. Another way of improving efficiency is to use helium gas only in the engine. Although it is more expensive, it has a low heat capacity so that a certain amount of heat can lead to a large inverse that large, large increase in pressure. This increases the power out so that the efficiency increases. Since helium is inert or unreactive, um, which is used instead of hydrogen, which is flammable, so there's no risk of explosion. Stirring engine was invented by Robert Stirling in 1816 as a generator. Since it didn't use explosive power, it was quite safe. However, a petrol engine was improved better than stirring engine because it was very delicate. And invention of it declined completely. However, Philips company focused on uh, less vibration and less noise of stirring engine. Stirring engine wasn't eventually put into practical, practical use, but research advanced for high efficiency and less pollution based on these technologies. Now, stirring engine is getting attention as a new efficient generator. Then, I'd like to introduce the uses of storing engines. Now, we are using it for submarine and are using with solar energies. And however, they are under test phase. And future, we use it for rocket and storing cooler, uh, which is used to freeze liquid nitrogen. Most current engines need fire from uh, fossil fuel. It is bad for environment and also waste fossil fuel, which is in the face of uh, running out. But if we use storing engine, we don't have to use gasoline and we 
we can use only heat such as solar heat. In that case, it might not be bad for environment and can save fuel reserve. So when we treat environmental problem or a shortage of resource, we should think of using storing engines. We think engineering project is the most enjoyable project. And on behalf of our members, I'd like to express our gratitude for all staff in the Department of Engineering. Thank you for guiding us in this project. Uh, then we will finish the project. Uh, thank you for listening.